Okay. Now, first, as I say, uh, you must, first of all, you need to make sure you need to tick this in order to show your progress, huh? in order to show your progress. Okay, now, I already, okay, you can see almost all the Dr. Lowe's uh, uh, part, uh, I think she managed to finish. Okay, now you can see my site. Okay, I begin the sessions here. Okay, I already put up my notes here. You can see, okay, lecture materials is already available. Okay, I just show you what are the sessions here. Okay, you can see in my notes, I already uploaded le uh, lecture one and lecture two and level surface graph animations. Okay, this is a complete notes. Okay, complete notes of four, four weeks. Okay, complete notes for the four weeks. Therefore, if you want anything, you just, you can refer to these two. Okay, refer to these notes. Okay, now further, sorry, further, uh, I already added, okay, I already added a tutorial as well. Okay, in this tutorial, you can see there are two files. Okay, hold on, huh? it's a bit slow. I uh, think it's not moving yet. I think uh, because it's uh, quite heavy. Come on, make it fast. Oh, slow. Uh, okay, in tutorial, you can see there are two files. Okay, there are two files. Okay, I want you all to, uh, the one is of examples. What happened? Very slow morning session. I think many of them are coming in, then the, the, the things become slower. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I can't waste my time here. To, ah, okay. You can see there are two. Okay. You can see. Can you see, right? If you manage to, if you don't, please let me know. Okay. You can see here double integral, further example, and multivariable function tutorial for the students. Okay. With the answer. I already provided with the answer, not the solution. Okay, but uh, therefore every session, once I finish, I will let you know that certain question you need to finish and you need to upload it into the, uh, what do you call, uh, into, um, just to say, uh, you need to give it to your tutor. Okay, you need to give it to your tutor or submit, submit. I'm not saying you need to submit to your tutor, saying that this is the question that suppose you know these things every not to say every week certain weeks i will say these are the question that you need to finish the end we need to make sure we able to finish the whole you know multivariable function the answer will be given do not worry answer will be given but you need to provide the solution okay i hope that you all can follow uh am i okay right i think uh just give me a one okay it's one left the meeting okay uh, if you find it very difficult to follow, please let me, you know, put a note in the chat uh, saying that, you know, sir, you are very fast or something like that. Okay. If you can follow, you just say yes. Can you hear me or not? Just to ask me. Okay. I want your, your, your message to say, ah, I can. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Now, now we go back. We go back to the, uh, these things. Okay. This is my site. Okay, this is my one. You can access to Dr. Shiva. And uh, this is only, you know, I will conduct for my student, PBKBSM, for Bahan and material, but the other students can join in, no problem. Okay, other students can join in and uh, you can follow my sessions, no problem at all. Uh, if you wish, you wanted to, you know, join the, you know, the next, uh, tomorrow we are having a quiz. You can join the quiz also, no problem. It's all, I, I don't, you know, I didn't stop anyone, you know, from uh, taking any quizzes or, you know, if you want to join, no problem at all. Okay, later I can, I know how to filter all of you. Um, those are not from PBKBSM, okay? Uh, okay, just uh, an introduction to you. Uh, and I find it, this is a very important because it's always, I put it this as my, you know, uh, you can see this, this world, basically you can see the book. Huh? We can see the vast book, which stands forever open before our eyes is our earth, right? Our universe. Okay. But in order to understand the universe, okay. In order to understand our universe, the beautiful language that uh, given by God, one of the language, uh, one of the language I'm saying is uh, 
beautiful one of the language written okay you can see uh, it is written in mathematical language what it mean by what i mean by that mathematical language uh, basically you can see the earth is a completely design of the mathematical uh, construction therefore the universe is beautifully can be pictureized using mathematical language uh, this is my uh, you know given by uh, galileo okay galileo is uh, one of the great uh, greatest scientist physics uh, physicist and um, he has said uh, the universe is uh, well written using mathematical language well written that's why you can see the universe is very precisely working and you can calculate you can do you can use the laws and etc therefore uh, one thing that i will uh, i i want to stress here is uh, you you may find it the mathematical is strange to you many of them complaining and saying mathematics is very difficult but practically as a, as a person uh, enjoying mathematics i will say mathematics is so beautiful language okay beautiful language and one more important things you are built in mathematician you must remember you are okay you are a mathematician built in mathematician what i mean by that okay you can see every day day to day all of you doing mathematics without your knowledge okay for example you are walking correctly you are holding things you are seeing the objects correctly you see all this thing is possible because your brain can calculate every single things in this world precisely the brain can you know help you to calculate you know uh, it able to do very advanced calculus very advanced integration very advanced one variable calculus very advanced multi variable calculus it can do it can perform everything without your consciousness okay without your consciousness but what you supposed to do is uh, you need to now what are we doing in this class basically we wanted to just uh what you call um, provoke invoke the knowledge of the mathematics that build in within yourself okay therefore my uh, sessions today i will uh, just quickly i will start the sessions officially with you and i i hope that uh, please do not make yourself stranger to mathematics since you are engineer i want you all to enjoy the 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 every sessions it's look difficult but practically i tell you your brain able to handle the mathematics very comfortably okay very comfortably um okay if you face any problem again i say you are really potential to i, I already told you you are built in mathematician whether you accept or not whether you like it or not okay by by what you call by nature you are mathematician okay by nature you are mathematician because you are your brain is ready to perform higher level mathematics but whether you you consciously wanted to uh, realize the mathematics and you want to practice the mathematics in your life is up to you okay is up to you therefore i encourage every one of you to enjoy the mathematics because um, the the nature of yourself is really you know inside yourself you are trying to understand the mathematics okay now get back to uh, quickly this is a kind of revisions that i wanted to go through with you in the one variable calculus i want because i quickly go through with you you just you can make it a kind of check mark lang okay please in my session please take a pen and pencil okay i will jot down i won't give you this notes you know completely because i want you all to jot down okay if you don't follow like you know uh, listen okay listening is not enough for mathematics okay you need to take a pen and you just jot down anything you just follow quickly you jot down okay uh, this one i type i normally just in the intro i will do this because i wanted to because i don't want to waste a lot of time here okay the first thing okay in a one variable calculus you already learned two very important part here i will just stress to you know this point here you can see um okay uh, let me start okay you can see you already learned this one variable calculus 
you can see uh, dv. The first important function that I want you all to understand is this. Okay, y equals to fx. Okay, when you see this y equals to fx here, it means there are two important messages that you need to grasp. One is we call it here, want. This one is we call it as independent variable. I want you all to know this word. Huh? Later, I will very frequently use this word. What is independent variable? You should not look for something else. No. Actually, there is a one independent variable and this one is dependent variable because it's depending on the independent variable here. That means, what are we trying to analyze, you know, throughout here in one variable calculus? It's very simple, okay? We are trying to put one input here called x and we are trying to produce one y basically this is a processing machine you can imagine this is a machine of transformation or machine of processing or etc whatever you want to call it lah. okay you can call it whatever but important things here in throughout here that whatever you learned before what you learned in this case is a one variable calculus Therefore, you see, the simple mathematics begin in this way, okay? The x, basically, I given one input. That means I giving a one effort here, one effort, okay? When I throw something, then I can change. I can change that into one outcome. This is outcome, okay? This is a outcome, okay? I can produce a one outcome. And this outcome is solely depend on this x, Okay, we call it as a one, uh, one variable calculus. Okay, therefore, you can see when you learn function, okay, when you learn function, what you are trying to do, see, day to day, you are practicing whatever you are practicing, okay, whatever you are doing is actually is a function. Okay, you are functioning, right? You are, you are a being uh, who can function. Okay, therefore, you see, Function is not somewhere else. Actually, day, your day-to-day -day works that you are doing. Basically, you never realize you are doing function every day. Okay, that's why you call it functioning. Basically, say, uh, today, you see, you're attending the session. This is a function. Actually, when you, you know, following my class, is a function. Therefore, it's a function. But now we're going to study the function in a very orderly manner. Okay, now, therefore, you can see there are important segment here called domain okay and co-domain this domain is basically referring to the independent variable okay this is we call independent variable okay this one is a dependent variable very important huh? later we will use this only this word dependent variable okay now i select some activities here and i'm trying to change it that activity into that means I'm doing some kind of transformation. I call it that as a function. I'm performing the function and I get a, some results of this. Therefore, this part we call as a domain and this part we call it as a co-domain. And you already analyze what is the domain, what is the limitation of this and etc. Don't worry, later I will introduce back to you in different way for the multivariable calculus. Okay, now, the important one here, you already, you might learn this word injective. Injective means it's a one-to-one -one relationship here. Okay, surjective is on-to, okay, on-to learning. My writing is not that good, okay, but uh, please accept. Uh, no other option for you, okay, um, except as it is. Bijective is a combination of one-to-one -one and on-to. What is on-to? On-to means is everything connected here, okay? I already, I, I think you already learned. I, 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 I'm just informing you because I want you all to do the revision if you are not sure, okay? If you are not sure what I'm trying to say here, please do the revision back, okay? We don't have time. We don't have time because I cannot revise back all the thing, you know, again. Okay, and of course, by now, you should be able to say, okay, if I ask you, what did you learn in one variable calculus? These are the things you should be able to list down. Very quickly, you should be able to tell in your mind, you should be able to tell to yourself, these are the things that I able to perform when I 
uh, I learned one variable. Okay, therefore you should able to tell what type of function, even function or odd function, whether it's a differentiable function or integrable function, whether it's a polynomial function, whether it's a rational function or vector valued function. Okay, this is, don't worry, I, I know Dr. Lowe or our sessions, we never emphasize this too much because you will study this in next semester, but it's not that, you know, this thing, but I already add up in my notes, okay, I already add up this inside my notes for this too, because this is a very important one, okay, very important next semester, and these are the things that you need to know, you will later, you may find it out, wow, a lot of things to explore here. And one more important part here, function transformation. Okay, function can be transformed into various type of transformation. Okay, maybe some of you be curious what I'm trying to say here. Okay, for example, this is a function. Okay, I put it here y x2 and whether I can transform this into another form. For example, if I put it here, Okay, this function already transform. Okay, from here, can I transform this? In what way I can transform? It's actually, you can see that uh, x plus one. Uh, you see, I already transformed this into this form. Okay, for example, I'm trying to say, for example, this is how, okay, function transformation works. And uh, from here, you're able to sketch by yourself. You can able to imagine, okay, whenever we talk about something, you should able to imagine, oh, this is how the function really look like in the graphic form, okay, which is without, you know, this thing. We can't teach you everything, but uh, you can see I already added uh, in my notes. Uh, I will, do, uh, definitely, I will go through with you, okay? Don't worry. If you, if you miss this part, you don't have. Okay, the next part, the next one uh, in the, uh, this thing says, you should able to explain uh, what we call as a mean value, okay, mean value theorem. Okay, mean value theorem, there are two theorem. One is a Rose, another one is a Lagrange mean value theorem. Okay, it's very interesting, you know, it's a very interesting concept that suppose you should be able to explain by now, okay? You should be able to explain what, if I ask you this question, what is role theorem? You should be able to explain. Uh, when I say, what is a Lagrange? What is the difference between roles and Lagrange? You should be able to precisely able to explain, okay? Then third one, okay? We learned third, in third one, you already learned differentiation, okay? Differentiation and integration is the most, most important, okay? In the survival of, you know, mathematics in a higher level, without differentiation and integration is impossible, okay? If you face any problem in the differentiation and, uh, you know, integration, that is your, what you, I, I may say is a stumbling block, okay? Stumbling block to you, okay? To master or to penetrate into the mathematics. Therefore, if you face any problem here, please, you need to spend more time here. Okay, please more spend more time here. It's very interesting. As I tell you, it's very interesting to study differentiation. Okay, what what suppose? Okay, in my session, my class, I already introduced to them differentiation. Uh, my tutorial session. Okay, can the, okay my class students, my practically um, uh, PBKBSM students, able to explain. Okay, uh, in practical life, differentiation is basically is a uh, I, I don't want to go too detail. I, I'm just saying it's a something about the change, okay? The changes that you are monitoring in your life. Okay, uh, I, I just connect, I forgot to connect. Okay, function, I already explained to you, your day-to-day -day life. Where this MVT coming into your picture, into your life? Can you connect? Someone can give me, how do you connect MVT into your life? Mean value theorem? Is there any life practical, uh, you know, connections? Can you connect? Can you connect or not? Wow, mean value theorem, there is a lot of connections, you know, in your life. Or oh, some of you say, no, okay. Some of you say you don't know how to connect, right? Okay, this is a very useful. Okay, this is how you are using your calculator actually is working based on a mean value theorem. Okay, for example, uh, okay, some of you say, oh, still some of them are joining. Huh? Okay, for example, I'm saying a very simple question. I'm asking you, okay, how do you calculate this? How do you calculate? Can you give me the answer? A little precise, lah. not to say a little bit precise. 
okay you you may guess certain level you know basically this is what is the answer okay in practical life the mean value theorem can help you to solve this very you know powerful okay very powerful to solve this kind of problem okay but for example i know the answer can be a one because definitely is higher than one but i don't know what is the value here can be okay because you know this square root of this definitely one then of course number two is a higher than one la okay if you use uh, your common sense but can i go a little bit precise into this can one okay what else what else in your practical life that you can use uh, mean value theorem mean value theorem is an approximation whereby you 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 can use in a many 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 application many application i tell you okay there are many application for this okay for assumption okay for your assumption okay uh, you can assume many problem solving very quickly based on mean value theorem therefore mean value theorem will help you to do assumptions like this kind of things okay if i want quickly okay what is the answer you can assume very fast you can assume very fast okay that is that is the we call it as a mean mean okay kind of average value uh, average value theorem everything you can average out very fast and you can get the results okay differentiation is a something about the changes that you are looking at in your life okay whatever changes that you are doing it can be captured using the word called differentiation beautiful i tell you sir so great okay if you really you can enjoy this kind of things actually everything that you are doing can be captured in this differentiation okay there are three concept that by by now you should able to explain limit continuity why are we learning limits why are we learning continuity i will explain later okay differentiable functions okay there are okay by now you should able to list down 12 okay how what are the methods available in differential uh, differentiation you should able to list down 12 what are they constant <laughs> coefficient summation rule you by now okay by now you should able to tell me okay what is if i ask you what is the product rule for example if some if someone asking you what is summation rule for example if i say it's a gx plus uh maybe uh, sorry yeah okay here i put a fx okay plus uh, hx okay therefore when i do the differentiation here sorry sorry uh okay let me let me practice okay if if for example okay if i if i wanted to differentiate this i can go into step by step see gx okay wow this is a something very interesting rule of summation okay this kind of rule of summation you should able to explain rule of product is a something similar you can see this is a rule of product uh, gx uh, hx okay what will happen when i go through okay something like that quotient rule chain rule composition rule please because these are the few rules very you know powerful power rule and you should master this kind of rules you know very well okay power rule ln exponent trigo trigo please master everything for example i say sin okay uh, cosine cotangent everything you should know very fast okay if i ask you okay if i ask you okay what is this for example cot x okay if i for example if i ask you okay differentiate this you should able to explain very quickly what is this okay you should not refer to any books you know uh, quickly you should able to tell what is the answer okay if you wait and say oh i need to refer uh, that means you are not prepared yet that means i'm trying to tell you this is very important okay an implicit parametric okay parametric uh, even to my class also they don't uh, this things parametric for example uh, okay if i put it that as uh, uh, parametric is like okay so uh, uh, for example i say xt okay and uh, yt okay is uh, both are connected then uh, you can uh, uh, if i want a dy dx how do you do it okay how do you do it if is a we use a one parametric i will explain to you this later in next semester wow you will study this extensively okay you study extensively 
Okay, now, but I, I just connecting, I'm just connecting just to let you know, because at least you mentally, you, you know what are the supposed to know, okay, what are the things supposed you need to know, because you are prepared, you may say, I'm, am I ready? Yes, you are ready. Once you are, you know all these things correctly, then you are ready for your uh, second multivariable calculus. The next one is a higher order. Higher order, you know, okay, for example, if I put this uh, dy, the x2, then you should able to explain, okay, how to do it, like higher order. This is higher order differentiation, okay? Now, integration, how many rules? You see, I introduced to you now 12. It can be more, no, no worry, because I, I, I put together, huh? okay, I put together all in one combination. But at least when people say, okay, what is differential function? How many method do you know? You should able to list down. Okay, now, next things here, um, integration. Okay, integration, you should be able to tell all the general properties and rule of integration. Like what? Like, for example, this kind of things. You should be able to explain the constant coefficient, summation rule, product rule, quotient rule, chain rule, power rule, loan, exponential, trigo, implicit, parametric, higher order. It's all coming under here. Here, you see, one, of course, I put it here, power rule, okay? But you you should, for example, I say, okay, what, what will happen if a sign X, okay? By now, by now, you should be able to tell very quickly what is the answer, okay? Power rule, as you all know, power rule is a comment, comment, okay? If I put it here, okay, five, this is a power rule, okay? Then you, you know what to do, okay? It's a very basic, okay? Trigger functions, you should be able to explain the trigger functions, Okay, exponential function. Exponential function means it's a basically e x, for example, dx. What is the answer? Okay, reciprocal function actually is a one, you know, uh, reverse in the in order. For example, one over x. If I do, okay, inverse trigo function. Okay, how do you handle and etc. etc. Okay, you can see function multiplied by constant summed. Argument function multiplied by the constant quotient is all quotient. For example, if you notice like a fx okay to f x okay if i differentiate what i get this is a actually is a you can see this quotient derivative okay quotient product similar product function for example f x okay g x okay how do you how do you differentiate this okay you should be able to explain all these things very nicely okay now get back okay then within this there are all together okay all together this is very important part by part you should be able to explain substitution method you should be able to explain tabular most important because next semester you will you will learn this very extensively okay what else oh today the first day itself like look like a sir you are bombarding us sir you are giving okay headache to us am i <laughs> sorry don't worry i'm just okay partial fraction Okay, reduction method, complementing square, quadratic method, trigo substitution, numerical Simpson rule, the last one, you should be able to perform also. Okay, that means uh, all together nine method. Okay, <laughs> nine method. Okay, nine method together. Finally, you should be able to explain newton Rapson. Okay, these are the syllabus that you already learned for past three weeks. Wow, <laughs> so great, right? Okay, you, you don't feel good. Huh? Some of you might feel, sir, mm, the first day itself not good, lah, okay? Because you are trying to show many things to us. Okay, but anyway, I don't worry, don't worry. It's nothing big here, okay? It's nothing big here, okay? It's a just, I want you all to go through, nicely prepare yourself to handle all these things. Handle all these things. Don't don't complain. Please do not say, okay, my lecturer didn't teach or whatever. It's all the material is there. Okay. But as uh, as we say, we can't we can't like uh, go through everything in detail within the short time. At least you need some practices. This is is a revision. Practically, the first three weeks is uh, understood, is a revision. Okay, revision to whatever you already learned in your matriculation or in your uh, in your form six okay if you complain about this i won't accept okay because as an engineer you need to be very positive because you know for example this is a corona time you can see how do we no point you complain right basically the things that you need to accept and you need to learn adapt to the culture 
that uh, we are trying to introduce to you, similar to me also, because I'm adapting to this kind of culture, talking to some machine here, okay, but I can't see you, but still I'm talking to you, I feel that I know I'm conveying my message to you all, then you're all listening there, okay? Similarly, similarly, please uh, do not, uh, you know, hesitate or get afraid of this and um, give up, okay? Do not give up at all, please. Don't do that, okay? This is too early for you to say, wow, so difficult. No, no, not yet, huh? Okay, please slowly follow. Okay, can you follow? Okay, can you follow? Just say, okay, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, many of you responded. Thank you very much for your response. Okay, uh, I feel I already given a guideline to you, okay? For your next step. Okay, let me start today's lesson. Okay, uh, it's already 8.44, later we'll take a small break later, okay? Uh, today's lesson, let me start with the let uh, today's lesson. Okay, after you learn one variable, okay, you see one variable itself so complex. Why it's so complex? Because you see, too much. Only one, one variable, you know. I'm talking about one variable. Now we are going to uh, multivariable. Wow, what will happen? Definitely multivariable is... If I ask you, is it a difficult or all this thing? Definitely it will be higher than whatever that you already learned here, right? It's definitely not going to be uh, similar to this. Yeah, of course, the base is here. That's why I say, if, you, if your foundation is very strong here, I definitely you can follow the multivariable very comfortably. Okay, now let me start. Okay, the beginning. Okay, in the uh, sessions here, okay, in the sessions here, Okay, now let me let me start with the uh, multivariable calculus. Okay. Uh, oh, wait, huh? Okay, the the simple things that I want you all to uh, follow. Uh, wait, huh? Okay. In this case, multivariable, what is the difference between single variable and multivariable? Okay, as I say, multi single variable is, uh, if I put it like this, and uh, we go for fx, okay, one single variable, which is you are reflecting here, one independent variable, one independent variable, and one, uh, it, it can be more than one, huh? please remember, please remember this is quite important. Okay, it can, I can give a one feedback, one feeding uh, value here. It can be more than one. Uh, therefore, you don't, don't expect that, you know, it must be one. But, okay, but as long as at this moment, we can say only one. Lah, okay, we know only one. Okay, we know only one uh, outcome that you can see. Okay, with the certain transformation called F, for example. Okay, this is what we studied about one variable. Now we're going to study more than one variable. Therefore, in this particular case, we're going to see more than one independent variable. Ah, this is the most important message. You can see there are two independent variables. That means it's a more than, okay, more than, oh, okay, more than, one single one variable more than one uh, i can use the different you know this thing more than one independent variable uh, this is a term that the correct one lah, to address this more than one independent variable is automatically you are in the multivariable portion that means this can be more than one also but very important this is not in this case we are our interest is our interest is to see this to see this more than one independent variable. It can be more than three also, x, y, z, where I can put here w, okay? This is very important. The definition can be a three, okay? Therefore, the in this particular case, I want you all to see we are giving two input to make it a one outcome, okay? One outcome, to produce one outcome. Therefore, this is what we call as a multivariable. This is multivariable. Okay. First definition done. 
Okay, simple definition. Okay, simple definition for you. Okay, now in this case, when we use a multivariable, okay, you can see here more than one variable, more than one independent. I hope that you all can see here uh, clearly. Okay, if it is a more than one, okay, we need to write that as uh, you can see here uh, dx d um, uh, sorry dz to the dx. We will write that as uh, in this form. Okay. Or if I say, same as, if I say this is a dy, if it is a dz to dy, okay? That means my reference is dy, okay? Now, in the second level, there are two, another way to address the things also. But you can see d is a look like a uh, full, right? Normally, we won't write this way. Okay, we won't use this D. This is wrongly addressed. Uh, I wanted to say that. Okay, because you see, the simple things, if it is FX, if there is a, another one is a constant, that means we will write like that. We will write this. This is constant. It means uh, FX, okay, there is a one constant. It means we need to use this. Uh, del F, del del x uh, this is we call as a del del okay we, we mean by that all these minor minor things is very important you know uh, you cannot underestimate and say you don't know how to address this uh, you say every time partial differentiation but this is a del okay why why it's become like that to say partial okay it's a partial differentiation why partial it's not fooled Okay, later you will know. Okay, later I will introduce to you what is the difference between the fold and partial. The concept here, okay, it means uh, we address this it to say, if we put here one stroke line kind of things and say y. It means uh, y is a constant. D, uh, d uh, del f to the del x by, uh, you know, when y is a constant. This is, uh, we say, we treat y as a constant. A constant okay we we treat y as a constant when we treat y as a constant immediately you will write this okay stroke y that means uh, we don't write like that please uh, remember but every time we won't write like that but i'm just wanted to show you this is a stroke you put this it's very rare you can see some books they will address this in this way okay but to just to say that if you put some kind of line here and you say y then it understood it's a constant okay that means it's a constant. Okay, now, how do we handle higher? Uh, look at the symbolic representation. Very important. This is a, in a partial differentiation. Okay, sorry. Huh? I might put the word partial differentiation. Okay, I put this word partial. Okay, partial differentiation. Okay, partial differentiation. Okay, it's a function. And uh, the way that we address, uh, please learn the skill. Huh? Please learn the skill here. You see how do they doing this? Okay, if this del f to the del x, we do second time, go for the second order. You see, it will do, uh, you, you can write that as a fxx. Okay, fxx, you can see there are two, okay, x. Okay, it's easy, this one is okay. But look at this one. Okay, this is important. If a del f to the del x, First, you need to write that as a, you see here, first del fx. After that, you add to that, it become y, okay? It's become y. Similarly, that you giving a different combination also, you can see that first f coming into the picture, fy, del y, then later del to the del, uh, del to del x here, we address this fyx, okay? I hope that you can follow. Okay, now, uh, why are we learning this? Why are we learning the partial differentiation and what is the significance of multivariable calculus in our practical life? Okay, uh, of course, we already learned. And how do we apply this in our life? Okay, I'll give you one scenario. Okay, I'll give you one scenario. Then I hope that you can understand this scenario. Okay, you see, in one variable calculus, in one variable calculus, see, uh, I'll write this. Okay, one variable calculus okay 
okay in one variable calculus you study the problem like for example there is a river you take a river okay there is a river flow okay river is flowing here towards this okay in this particular case we just set the width here we should imagine this is we call it as a y for example okay this is the difference therefore we call it that as a del y okay this del y is constant okay constant and this is a changes that means uh, from here we wanted to monitor the changes okay for example from here to here it's a del x ah uh, that means uh, we are trying to observe our eye we are placing our eye here uh, then we are observing the changes we are observing the changes in one one direction in one direction only that means you are trying to see the changes of this river flow or you can place your eye here no problem at whatever places no problem it's a plus and minus only uh it's a base on convention you wanted to visualize okay but imagine the changes of the river you are monitoring in one direction we call that as a one variable calculus but if you go for multi okay multi variable okay multi variable calculus okay this again again i just put here you can set it you can set it one as a constant doesn't matter here you 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 can say for example uh, okay y to the fx okay that means it's a small changes that means i make a small changes every time you are trying to monitoring these changes here okay what will happen here if i make a changes in this case what is the changes of this when i monitor from the x here this is x this is a x plus del x you are monitoring from this changes therefore you see what is the changes of this therefore in this particular case uh if i wanted to uh, uh talk about limitation limit del x approaching to the zero uh therefore f x plus del x okay minus fx okay divide with del x wow we have done okay we have done what is what we call as a uh differentiation okay this is a differentiation that you are trying to see that means uh uh in in um, in basic logics that we are trying to perform here is this okay when we talk about multivariable calculus okay multivariable calculus we are trying to see a different scenario for example i i just do okay okay uh okay i'm uh we are working on a concept called you see we are trying to see there are some changes also taking place here you can see this is a del y also changing continuously can you see this and we wanted to monitor this the changes here and to here for example okay okay then i am trying to see the whole changes from here to here uh then uh i am observing there are two way changes can you see that there are two way changes okay from this side also it's a changing and this one is changing at the parallelly i need to uh, understand two process here okay i need to understand two processes ah uh, that is the interesting part to study okay because you can see now the analysis getting more complex the analysis getting more complex because we are moving to the another state okay another state of this for example x to the del x and y to the del y ah uh, that means you are trying to observing the changes into different uh, you know this uh, state ah uh, therefore it's not easy because you see where you will will you place your eye at the first time your eye is not super good good to see both you know at the same time okay that's why we call it partial why we call we call it this is a partial because your eye can see only one at per time okay you cannot claim hey i can see both you know at the same time cannot cannot at all okay because you cannot observe two changes in a in a simultaneously 
okay simultaneously at the instantaneously cannot you cannot observe both changes at the same time okay this is very important understanding okay now with that with that this is a very uh, i will start with the simple you know uh, what you call the logics okay now you see uh, okay let me let me introduce uh partial differentiation is very easy okay very it's it will become very easy you know okay it become very easy i will introduce to you one simple uh, example how to see i quickly go to the example already okay uh okay i am referring to explosion of what somebody say explosion okay what what are you trying to say Okay, let me start with a chat. Somebody giving a chat. Uh, oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Some of you communicating there. I hope that please be there. I hope. Okay. 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 Now, in this particular case, uh, I will try to give you first introduction to solve the simple. Uh, differentiation is based on the whatever you already learned okay for example cos y okay i'm going to show you how do i making a differentiation in this case we call it this as a partial differentiation okay the basic is already in your uh, in your differentiation and integration therefore we will use that differentiation integration that you already learned before to proceed to perform here okay you look at this huh? how am i going to solve this problem okay when i say del f del x or we call it that as a fx it means when i say this word huh, immediately immediately you must imagine i, I put a one line here y is a constant that means huh? okay okay in this case when i say i going to refer i going to make a change i need to see don't see y don't see the y that means uh, you shut down the y and treat that y as a something different okay like this okay put it like that okay immediately when i say fx this is xy no sorry huh? y very sorry there is x and y because it's a combination of that you need to treat that y as a constant here therefore it's a it's look like a a x and uh, b uh, e x uh, you need to treat this way okay when i say y is a constant immediately you need to see this your eye must see y as a kind of constant okay cos y as a something another constant okay now you see how am i doing this when i say i perform this differentiation on this what i get I get a a right a okay okay let me perform on this first okay if i perform here i get a a then next i get a b e x okay no changes no changes right b still e x okay you get back here that's why i say your differentiation must be very good okay later integration okay we will move into the integration that's why i say your 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 found the foundation must be very strong okay therefore you look at this okay look at this straight away you will get y you will get y as your solution x is a one right differentiation when you differentiate here you will get a y straight away and the next is no changes because ex you differentiated i don't want to see this I just see this e x yes e x differentiate I get a e x cos y okay can you understand can you understand this just say yes or no <laughs> okay thank you many of you say yes that's uh, helpful okay thank you very much okay I'm moving very slow practically okay uh, I will say this is very slow phase huh? uh, I may say this is very slow uh, because un unlike the face to face okay face to face i'll move a little bit faster okay the next one okay we take it del f to del y can you give a try try and see okay look at that and try okay now you need to treat x as a constant you need to treat x as a constant don't see x 
Don't see X. Just look at the Y. Just look at the Y and solve. Okay? What you will get? Okay? Try. Give a try. You will get X. Okay? Can you follow? Okay. Done. Then, what do you get? EX. Don't, don't change anything. EX. EX. Okay? EX. Here. Don't change. It never change. Okay? What? This one only will change. What do you will get? Okay, when you differentiate this, what you will get? Hmm. You get a, a cos. Therefore, differentiation of the cos, you get a negative sine y. Uh, okay. This, this is important. Okay. If you get the same, correct. Okay. Okay, now give a try for this one. Now, next one. Okay, we go for next try. Okay, based on the top one. Okay, we use this. Del, del, mm, can I say Y? Okay, del F. Okay. Uh, okay, we will take uh, del Y first. Okay, maybe. Okay, can you, can you solve this? Bring it down, this one straight away here. Okay, give a try. Give a try. Oh, I don't have space. Wow. Okay. Can I? Now I'm doing the second del y. Okay, what suppose I should get? What suppose I should get? Hmm. Okay, give a try. Okay, are you correct? Zero, this one. Why? It's a constant. Remember, it's a constant. I'm just bringing it down, right? Okay, what about this? EX to the negative Y. What you will get? Okay, then it will go back to the cos, right? Okay, it will go back to the cos. That means it's a still negative E. X, don't change back here, okay? The sine Y, it become cos Y. Can you see that? Okay, I hope that you can follow. First, I make it a little bit slower. Okay, now we do this. Del X, uh, F, uh, Del F, Del X. Okay, we do second one. Okay, we go, go here, this one, okay? Again, you see, can you solve? Zero, okay, zero, why? Because you are using no y here. EX, still EX, okay? Do we disturb the cost? No. Do we disturb the cost? Never, okay? Can you see that? Okay, now, go some more, okay? I want you all to perform this, del, del y, on the del F to the del X. Can you perform this? What will you get? Okay. Now I'm performing the uh, things here. What I get here? One. Can you follow? Here. Look at this. Y. Okay. Y plus. Okay. Y plus. Ah, very good. Okay, Y plus. Then some of you already give an answer there. Okay, I, I'm, I'm going slow, slow. Okay, I'm going slow. E, X. Okay, then what do you get here? Negative sine Y. Okay, that, that, that's a simple things that you all can perform. Okay, now try one more uh, different uh, concept that, uh, you know, these things. Okay, wow, uh, that, that's why I don't like to put it this earlier. Uh, because I wanted to save some time. I'm, I'm a bit slow, I think. I don't know, maybe. Ah, it's already time for us to take a break, but uh, okay, let me finish one. Okay, one more example. Please give a try for this. Okay, F, X, Y, Z. Okay, give a try on this. Huh? X2, Y2, Z to 
x y um, what am i to put here maybe uh, i put here to uh, uh, z okay z 3 okay what i want you all to do is first try for the fx okay we'll take uh, around uh, 2 to 3 minutes break okay 2 to 3 minutes break then uh, we will continue can we okay Two three minutes because <laughs> my my day can't say you know I continuously I like to conduct the class two hours continuously without break. Uh, some students you know higher higher you not not your group not your group your 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 seniors your seniors okay they say that. Uh, doctor, I want to ask something. No. We resume. Okay. Um, I hope that, uh, okay. Uh, normally, I'll give a uh, two to three minutes la, just for your washroom, maybe you want to go or something that you want to settle or something. Okay. Now, we get back to the sessions. I hope that uh, all of you can uh, follow. Can I start? Okay. Huh? Uh, okay, okay, see so fuck. Still, many of them are struggling, you know, joining and going back and come out and joining us. Okay, what is the answer for this? What is the answer for this? X is sir, here to X. Okay, you're correct. If you done, this is constant. This is constant. I don't care about that. Therefore, I'll get a zero. I get a zero, I get a, here, I just see y2, z3, okay? Can you understand this? Okay, if you have, you can intercept me later. The next one is a y, therefore, if this becomes zero, become two y, this becomes zero again, because it's a constant, and this become two y, x z power 3 uh, okay now this one fx first and dy remember this one i already explained to you del y to del f del x okay this is the logics first we need to use this one and we need to apply dy here yeah? therefore this becomes zero okay rest is a uh, we have here 2y and z3. Okay? Can you follow? Okay, what about the third one? The third one, you get a z only. Therefore, here 2z. Okay, here plus 3z2 xy2. Okay, done. Okay? Can? Oh. Give me a few minutes, huh? I just make a small adjustment here. Okay. Okay, those came late. Please, uh, I hope that you can see the, the things here. Okay, can you follow? Just say yes or no. <laughs> Hello, doctor. Ah, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I have question for the fx. How F? can you explain why why it becomes zero plus two y uh, z power three? Okay, look at look at this one first. Look at this one. Okay, can you can you see this? Okay, we are using this one. We are proceed to work on that. See, look at this one here. Okay, this is del. Okay, you should first, you see del f del x. Okay, now you can see this is a del f del x, right? 
Okay, now I'm I'm performing D, okay, del Y on this FX. Okay, when I see this one, okay, look at this one, it's a constant, right? If I, I if I see from the point of Y, this is constant. Okay, constant, therefore it becomes zero. Okay, here just I got a Y, therefore two will come down. This is constant. Just go. Therefore, I get a 2y to the z3. Okay? Simple. Okay. Okay. Okay, thank you. Now we proceed. We proceed to what we call as a total, okay, differentiation. Ah, now only we will see total different, okay, -tion, okay? Total differentiation. Okay, now what is the difference between total and partial? Okay, we are doing partial. Partial means we are just concentrating in one, right? That means uh, my eye only able to see one single progress. It, at the same time, it cannot see this one. Okay, could be like that or it could be like this. Okay, I only able to see one progress. Okay, one progress. The rest I need to take it as a constant because I cannot, I, 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 my eye cannot see. Okay, that is the limitation. Okay, we have a limitation of that. Then let's say uh, there are two times. Okay, maybe I, I managed to observe the progress of this. After that, later I place my eye here again and I start looking at this. Then can I combine these two work together? Can I combine these two works? Because, you see, I managed to see the progress at this side. And after maybe one minute or two minutes, I am taking here at this progress here. Okay, now, uh, is there possible, is there any possibilities that I can combine together? Okay, you can, you can use both at the same time, possible also. Instantaneously, you can observe both also, but your eye, my, I'm saying you need to use some instrument. Lah. Okay, here, you have one instrument to see, another instrument to see. Can I combine together? Can. Okay, this is what we call as a total differentiation. Okay, the purpose of total differentiation, okay, you can see the changes that are taking place together. Can you see that? The increment, I already explained to you just now, okay, the increment, Okay, you can see the increment, the difference of this. Okay, here, here, sorry, huh? see this one, I already explained to you the difference. Don't, don't treat this prime as a differentiation, huh? sorry, huh? this is not, I, I want to show you it's a different. Maybe uh, some of you a bit confused, you will say, oh sir, is this a differentiation? No, actually this is not a differentiation. Uh, please bear with that. Huh? Uh, if I put this, uh, Actually, I want to say this and this is a different. It's, it's not, it's not a prime or something. Prime, when I put a prime immediately, you may say, oh, oh, Dr. Shiva, is it? Do you, uh, differentiation work like this? Enough? No. This is not a proper definition. Huh? Okay, but this is just to show that it's a different from this because there are small changes already taking place. Okay, because now I wanted to see what is the difference. That means this is F, Z1. This is Z. Okay, at this point, I'm string Z. At this point, the Z. That means what is the difference? I need to see Z1 minus Z, this one. Okay, this is a Z. It's not a Z1, huh? Here. Okay. Okay, this is a, not a Z1. Therefore, you can see there is a, some difference that exists. Okay, I remove this one also. Okay, that means, please, um, okay, come back to this increment. Okay, there are small increment you are making. Therefore, the difference between this increment can be defined as this, LF. Therefore, remember, when we make a difference, there is a small changes between these two we can make a look at the total increment of this, total increment, okay? Total increment here, okay? We call del F increment, okay? It's called increment of an actual change in the function. It's moved to this. Therefore, the total differentiation is uh, something can enable you to 
differentiate and identify what is the D. You see here, del, del, D. Okay, now I'll write for you. Please, you can take a pen or this thing you follow also. Okay, how do we, how do they doing this? This is the small changes. Actually, they are trying to say, you see, uh, partial differentiation of X. Okay. No, let, let me write. That's why I prefer to write. Instead, you know, I looking at this kind of explanation, I don't like it. Okay. When you see there is this, okay, there are multivariable, two independent uh, variable, then I'm making a small changes. Okay, I'm making a small changes to this. For example, f, x, I'm making a small changes to this. And uh, y, I'm making a small changes into this. Okay, with this changes, can I, can I differentiate that difference? That means, uh, in the simple performance, we will write that as, okay, you can see what is the difference between this F, the changes of F, you know, I'm talking about, that means I need to make it this S Y del X minus F X Y. Okay. Now I can see the difference, but it become too small. Okay, if it become too small for us to, you know, calculate, then we can write that as a del F. Okay, we can use a technique called total differentiation. You can see this del F, del X. Okay, which is, you can see the small changes of this. We call this is a D X. D means here, okay, it can be del X, small scale, okay, and uh, we can uh, see del F, del Y with the D Y. Simple to understand, you know, I, I, I cannot do that. I can't do this, this kind of method. Huh? I cut, cut here, I cut, cut here, I get a del, del. Partial, partial become total. Imagine, imagine, huh? please don't do that. Huh? I'm saying, I, I'm giving the idea only. Okay, I take uh, this opposite here. Okay, cut, 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 cut. I get a del F, partial, partial become total. Okay, this is a total. This is how you remember the formula. Okay, this is how you remember the formula. Okay, therefore, it's a very easy to recognize this combination. You see, therefore, what are you doing? You're taking both combination here. Okay, you are trying to see, okay, this is a, for example, del F to the del X side. You are seeing that as a del F, del Y side. And you are trying to see there are small changes here, del Y to the changes. And here I am trying to see del X, I'm making a changes. Combined together, I get this. I get this. Can you see that? Okay, I get this combination. Okay. Now for the three, okay, for the three here, wow, this is 3D, okay, for the 3D, Z, X, Y, if, if you make a small changes, then it become like this, okay, it's become like this, okay, can I give a one simple solution, for example, I, I try to um, give you one, one uh, solution here, uh, wow, suppose, it's uh, okay. I don't like you see the because I need a more space here. Okay, in this case, okay, I'll I'll give you one example. Okay, at least you can uh, you can find it that uh, how how am I uh, trying to explain this part? Okay, okay, you take it like example, simple one first. X, okay, X Y, okay, X two plus uh, 3xy plus y2, okay? Now, we go step by step, huh? we go step by step, we try to understand only. If I say, try to find out del f, how do you do that? If this is the case, you need to, what you're supposed to do here is uh, del f to the del x dx, okay, dx plus, del f to the del y d 
y okay in this particular case okay now we go below okay in this case now i need to perform two things here f x this is fx huh? this is fy therefore what i'll get fx here 2x plus 3x can you see that okay therefore i just put here sorry 2x plus 3x dx okay plus this one tell okay why what is i uh, what will i might get here 3 x 2 y okay therefore this become 3 x plus 2 y dy okay okay uh i remove la okay then i'll go one more example practical practical example okay we take it a very practical example okay this one very practical one huh? okay you you can see you can start seeing okay this is not complete yet huh? not complete yet okay uh, I, uh, yes uh supposedly 2x plus 3y not 3x for which case you are saying oh yeah 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 oh okay this case huh x thank you thank you that, that that's okay this is 3y huh? 3y okay you see f 2x 3y because we are treating this one okay thank you mm, that's good at least you're observing okay so, okay at the left here 2x to the 3y and this one okay something that you can see uh the the progress is uh we are we are making uh accordingly okay uh okay what about the next case okay the next case i'll try to pick some simple example okay let's say i pick one simple very simple example okay let's say there is a box okay uh this is maybe we call it uh there is a manager in a company and uh, he has been request to say is they are using x uh, maybe y and um, z or whatever then uh, i'm asking you to calculate the volume then immediately you know well wow, very simple you will say x y z is the volume then the company manager decided to extend the box size to make it a little bit bigger okay a little bit bigger that means he is uh, trying uh, okay let's say a little bit bigger in terms of uh, um oh am i very ambitious here okay okay i don't want i don't want to incorporate three okay i make it a simple one first this is okay it become a little bit complex no not to say complex you know, very simple but I, I i treat this way i treat this way okay uh, maybe i give uh, y this one okay i'll give simple we we work on the 2d first okay okay i'll try to say why okay easy make it a little bit easier okay therefore okay two simple okay we made a small simple one okay now suddenly the boss decided to make it uh, the 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 box a little bit bigger Oh, it looks like a big one. Okay. Now, uh, I'm adding, uh, how much I can add? Two. Here. Once I add here, this is also become y plus two, right? This side. Okay. Then suddenly, the x, uh, I add to five, for example. Okay. Now, what is the actual size? Okay. This is simple. You, you may say, sir, very simple, uh, sir. We can calculate and tell you very fast okay i can understand i can understand but i'm the, i already told you this is simple huh? simple remember later later you may find it you may say sir it's not as easy huh? okay okay first first okay i want you to grasp the logics very important getting the logic is important it's not like to to say that 
is whether it's a simple or difficult, it's not a matter. Understand the concept is important. Okay, now how do we solve? How do we solve this? That means uh, in this particular case, okay, there are two things is taking place. That means uh, this one added with that one. Uh, sorry, uh oh, two, 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 two. Oh, this one y plus two, y plus two x this. Okay, now there is a volume changes inside, right? That means you 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 will agree with me. There are small volume changes inside here plus v. Okay, plus v. Therefore, can I can I monitor the volume changes only? I, I I'm not interested to the whole thing. Okay, of course you may say if if I wanted to find out this whole thing v plus this, of course you will say. Uh, I need to times with this plus uh, two, okay, y plus two, uh, x plus five. Okay, now I got it. Then later I can find out what is the original, then I can minus with that, right? Then it's easy to solve it. But in this case, I'm interested only in this, okay? This is, we make it a simple first, okay? This is how you do. Okay, how do you do? This is an original sentence. We, this is how we work. Lah. Okay, but practically, in scenario, actual scenario, we wanted to know volume changes only. Therefore, when I wanted to make a volume change, therefore, this volume change of this can be decided as dV. We put it that as a total dV. Okay, that means it's actually it's approximation. You know, this is approximation. It's not exact. Is not del V is equal to dV. No, it's uh, approximating. Okay. Therefore, when we go for dV, we will have del F, del X, uh, the small changes of uh, small changes. I put it here, dX. Okay. The changes that I made, del F, del Y, the changes that I made here. Uh, okay. Now you see how do we making this calculation is possible? Uh, not ah yeah, very sorry yeah, it's not f. Okay, it's not f actually v. Okay v. Okay because we are using v. Okay now shall we calculate this? Okay v x what is that? V x is a y two right? You can see. Okay what about v y? This is v y. Is a two y x. Okay, hopefully you can follow. Now, let me put it inside. Very straightforward, you see. It's a y2. What is del v? No, don't, don't, don't change yet. Okay, we, we go on very simple first. dv, what is the dv here? Uh, so, vy, vy is a, this is a 2yx. Okay, del y. Okay, simple. Hmm. Okay, now, now. We're going to make a change. Now we're going to make a change. D, V. Okay, what is the changes that I made for the X here? Five, two. Okay, this is the changes that I made here. Therefore, when I start making the changes in this, okay, this is what's supposed to be going to make a change in the original sense. Okay, therefore, uh, in uh, any particular cases, when we wanted to change, uh, sorry, this uh, this this is a five and two is here. Okay, this is uh, changes that we made. Okay, sorry, I I, I put here okay, bit bit bit. Okay, wait, uh, I is too fast to decide the things here. Okay, well, hold on, huh? Okay, here let's say dv. I wanted I want you all to see this one first two. The change that we made here is a two, right? For the y dx is a five. Okay, plus d y x. The changes, small changes that we made here is a two. Okay. Uh, this is what I want you all to see. Have a look on that. Okay. Now, if I give any value to y y x now you can calculate and you can give me the results okay now you see i already made a change here see okay del x is a two uh, five 
and the small changes is a 2. Then I give any value to the y and x. Now you can calculate, you can tell the dv really. That means it's a del v, lah, huh? del v, here, del v approximate. Okay, this is actually, it's a, this one dv is accurate one, but uh, now we are doing a simple one, lah, okay, simple one for the things. Okay, therefore, can I now, if I choose like a dv as, uh, uh, yes, someone wanted to, okay. Okay, now if I choose to, as x as a 2 and v as, uh, no, I don't want to confuse you all with the 2, 2, 2, too much 2. Uh, maybe I'll give a different from the scenario 3. Then um, maybe I give a 4, for example. That means uh, I make it here 3. Uh, sorry, y as a 4 and x as a 3. Then you just change and you can get the results of this. Okay, that means uh, you just put here. 4 power 2, 5 plus 2, okay, uh, y is uh, 4, uh, 3, 2, okay, then you can calculate the changes and you, you can, okay, I hope that you can follow, and uh, I got one question, if you wanted to try, give a try, okay, for this, I, I already said the, okay, Okay, um, Okay, you can give a try. What is the time now? Okay, still we got a time. But, uh, I, I need to finish today's lesson, you know. Okay, a little bit. Okay, uh, those who wanted to give a try, you can give a try for... Okay, uh, one example here. Okay, uh, copy. Uh, yes, yes. Give me one minute, just... Um, okay, okay, you can give a try for this. Okay, you can give a try for this while uh, we are talking about. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, this is advanced already. Give me one minute. I change rule. Sorry, where is the increment part? Oh, oh, ah, uh, uh, sorry. Oh, it's not there. Okay, okay, it's not that. So, okay, next class I'll. Uh, uh, sorry, they, they, in in my notes is already I already inco incorporated. Maybe it's already uh, just now removed lah. I I remove accidentally. Okay, yes, you uh, you wanted to ask something. Ah uh, yeah yeah. Uh, 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 the, the, why 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 is the DV just an approximate? Uh, okay, because you will know later, there is a small changes in that. Okay, we are trying to, okay, this one, you look at this one. See, this is how you are monitoring the changes. DF to the, this, this is the function actually controlling the Y. Okay, the function controlling the Y. Okay, the tangent, we are taking the tangent and we are times with the changes. Okay, that is the linear line of that. This is a tangent. Okay, uh, I hope that you can understand this part. Okay, if there is a something, okay, if it is a straight, no problem. You see, ah, this kind of things. How do you handle? How do you handle? Difficult, right? Therefore, you need to take, okay, this is a F. Okay, let's say I want to take a tangent of this. I need to take this tangent as a del. F to the del X. This is a tangent line. Now we get the tangent of this. Now I wanted to monitor how much I made the changes in the X at this direction. Okay. Therefore, can I calculate that? Uh, del X. Can you see that? Uh, first, I need to build this. Then only I need to times with that del X. Okay. That means it's the changes. That means uh, I think you already learned the force, right? Work. Work, work. Uh, similar lah. Okay, when you calculate the force uh, for the work, see how long, how the distance changes, okay, displacement. Okay, the displacement changes here. We are looking at that. Okay, this is the changes in that tangent that you're observing. Okay, it's not a straight line, again. Okay, I know your arguments. I can understand your arguments. Why not make it a very simple? Why are we making this so complex kind of things? Huh? Instead, this method is a simple. You look at this, very simple. Why not I just minus and just get the things done? No. 
Okay, this is for the simple things. You can make it done, get it done, no problem. Okay, you can do, use your common form for knowledge to solve this problem. But I'm talking about the complex scenario which you will face later, you will see later. Okay, now uh, your question I can understand. You, your, your question you are saying, why not doctor? Very simple, just minus and solve the problem. No, I'm trying to say no. We are trying to see scenario which is very complex scenario. Okay, now get it this. First, I want you all to understand the process of this. Okay, then uh, you will realize uh, how much, uh, okay, uh, the things can go inside. Okay, okay, now, okay, go, okay, someone wanted to ask something. Just proceed, please, quickly. What are the changes? What are the changes? What do you mean by what are the changes? Can you just, just, uh, if it to why? A can, okay, you just change lah, okay, it to why. You just make it a two why and you just solve it. That you get exactly same, okay. You you just place, later you will see. That's why I say I, I got examples. But today I, I cannot focus in this itself, okay. Just get the idea first, get the idea first, okay. Get the idea, later you can see more examples, huh? okay. During the tutorials you can see more examples. Okay, this is quite important. This is very important, huh? very important. I put, uh, okay, always uh, I will put stars. Okay, when I put a one star, it means important. If I put two star, I'll say you will meet in the test. Test or somewhere else like in uh, your assignment. If I put three star, you will meet in the final exam. This, this kind of question, definitely you will meet in the final. You will see this kind of question in final exam. Therefore, for this particular case, at this moment, I put a one star, I put a two star, okay? I put a three star, okay? Wow, so important, right? <laughs> okay, okay, don't worry. Okay, don't worry. Take note, huh? take note, huh? already given a three star. Okay, that means, huh? I will, you will see more, more uh, advanced kind of uh, questions or uh, this kind of things later, okay? Now, okay, take it this. Okay, now we go for uh, chain rule. Uh, sorry, clay roots rule. Okay, clay roots rule. Uh, where are you? Huh, here. Okay, cut. Okay, I quickly, I will settle down with this. Okay. Okay, what is clay root rule? Okay, clay roots rule is basically saying if the things is continuous, okay, I, I just write. If something at the interval is a continuous, you can make sure there is an interval is a continuous, no breaking point like this, okay, like that. Okay, there are no breaking within these two points for the interval that you are looking for. It's saying that, okay, in this straight line, F, X, Y, you can see this, okay, Y, X, differentiation, double integration, that means it's a second order of Y, X and uh, X, Y are same. You will get the results as the same. Look at this. Look at this one. Okay, we go, uh, look at this one. Two, always will be same. Okay, both are same. Always you'll get same if with the condition, only one condition to fulfill. Okay, it must be continuous. The derivative involves are uh, continuous. Then this is can be proved with the theorem. Theorem is there. We, we never concern so much about the theorem at this moment. Huh? We just, but this clay roots rule, you will learn, you will see the, the benefit of this in the, what do you call uh, your week seven onwards and next semester also you will use this theorem extensively okay this semester week seven after my lesson dr zati will take place dr zati will explain this into very extensive way okay first order you will learn something very new okay now with that let let me move what is how long do we have we have uh, five more minutes 
let me introduce to you at least one case there are chain rule there are two cases for the chain rule there are case one and there are case two there are two cases let me introduce to you two cases okay i want you to design this in this way f if there is a f here okay i will say there are combination of this can be connected this to the f function okay here if you don't see what i'm trying to say here f is it has two independent variable and the x and y are connected to the t that means x connected to the t and y are connected to the t ah uh, can you see this is a chain can you see that's why we call it this as a chain okay how to write this how to write this formula you see first you need to go down from here del f to del x go down like that after that del dx to dt the simple question here look at this one first okay okay let me let me design d f dt sorry dt okay dt don't worry about that z huh? uh, i think it's wrong here it's supposed to be f okay it's supposed to be f del f to the dt ah z is given here okay but still okay i can write this way also okay in this case look at that del f del f del x okay up to here i can understand no problem here suddenly it's become d what is the difference between the del and d del is more than one variable can you see that it's referring to more than one variable here the t referring to one variable only therefore it's become d can you see that that's a different nothing else don't get confused huh? why suddenly here del why here suddenly d d is because referring to one variable del referring to more than one variable that's it okay therefore it become dx dt okay it's coming down then plus you take a here and go down like that therefore you will get del f del y dy dx can you understand this simple can or not okay yes thank you thank you thank you for your response okay this is simple okay this is example okay this is a example that you can see okay first is going u to the up the right okay dt oh, oh here uh, del f to on uh, dt dt okay uh, t t t okay some of you very okay that's what i i i really i know thank you dt dy dt okay immediately someone responded to me okay that's very nice okay okay uh, i hope that you are correct you are correct ha huh? dy dt okay okay now done okay now let us let us give one example okay how do we do this how do we do this okay we go for u okay first we design we design the method first okay you can see the design of u works like this u is a combination of x and y and x is a combination of t and y is a combination of t okay let me design design the chain first the u is controlled by okay two independent variable y and the x controlled by one variable called t okay therefore what is the formula that i need to work with here okay when i wanted to work on the formula on this that means du wow okay we got a five more minutes done oh okay uh, you need to rush to the other classes therefore i'll just stop here okay don't worry don't worry just i finish this part okay d okay you look at this huh? du dx just right practice practice then x dx oh oh d is it d correct do del 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 
it's not D. Huh? Uh, see, I make a mistakes, it's a good advantage for you, LX. Okay, this is a D, D, X, D, T. Okay, then del U, del Y. Okay, D, Y, D, T. Okay, done. Okay, now what is our task here? Do separately. Okay, we're going to perform separate calculation for this, each one. Okay, for example, del U, del X. What, is, what you will get? You get a? 2x. Okay. What about del u, del y? What do you get? Negative 2y. Okay. This done. We have done for both. Okay. What about dx? dx, dt. Okay. dx, dt. How to do that? Ah, uh, challenge is begin here. Combination is become complex. Okay. Complex. This is product rule. Can you see that? Product rule here. Therefore, you get a t sign i uh, sorry cause okay uh okay the time i cannot oh uh, I, I i cannot make you to rush to other class okay but just quickly one okay et then what is the next thing here okay sign uh, not cause huh ah uh, yeah why am i put here cause okay because okay sign T, okay, sine T, because I'm doing this differentiation here, huh? product rules, huh? I'm applying product rules, and after that, what I need to do, I need to start working on the ET cos T, okay, that's that's a combination, okay, rest, I hope that you give a try, and uh, we will meet in next class uh, tomorrow, uh, thank you very much for the, uh, you know, this thing, those who wanted to ask question, you can wait, and those who wanted to leave to the other classes, uh, you can leave now. Thank you very much for your kind, uh, you know, these things. Uh, that means, uh, not to say kind, <laughs> um, uh, support. I, I may say it's a support. You all are very nice. You all supported me very nicely. Okay. Thank you very much. Take a break and uh, we will meet uh, tomorrow. Bye-bye. Uh, doctor, I want to ask something about the total differential. Ah, oh, okay, you can go on. Uh, uh, about mm -hmm. that, right, actually I checked through the lecture notes. I didn't find the, you know, the topic inside. Or oh, is it, did I miss it? Example. Uh, like, ah, uh, this is the total differential. Uh -huh. uh, I, I didn't see her inside the lecture note. It's there, it's there. It's, uh, uh, it's uh, in the below, below. Because I, I started below. the lesson not in the function. See, I, 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 because I wanted to make you all too comfortable. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. See, uh, this is the first chapter, right? Oh, okay, okay, I found it. First chapter. Okay, you can see, because I didn't start this yet. Okay, you go, go slowly to below. Because this one is very complex. Therefore, normally when I start the session with this, students don't like it. Therefore, I start with the limit. Okay, wait. Mm, below okay ah, partial differentiation pd okay you can see uh, the examples mm. solutions okay increment is here okay mm. okay thank you uh, okay okay thank you yeah. okay bye bye you there? okay yes yeah 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 i'm here uh, can i ask before total differentiation sorry before, ah, yeah, they did D Why uh, F X Y? Can you explain? Uh, which F one you are saying? F which one you are talking about? Please, this, you. This, this, this example. This one here. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Y X Y. Uh -huh. Your question X -Y. is Y X Y. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, X Y. I just given. I given. Let's say I'm given. Okay. The, the, the question here, your, your question, I, I can get, get uh, you know, I hope that. Okay, first, okay, why fx? Why suddenly you put fy? Why you are doing xy? Okay, actually, you can differentiate this in many ways. Okay, you can differentiate this many ways. Let's say, let's say the question asks you to solve this fxy given, you need to solve it. If otherwise, you no need to do. Okay? Are you asking? Uh, why f x y get 
answer okay. zero plus zero to y to the z three. Uh, huh? yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Now you can you see this equation? Can you understand this equation or not? First, yes, yes, this yes, fx. Yes. Okay, you can understand fx y, right? Okay. Now yeah, yeah. I wanted to do on the top of x. I wanted to do one more uh, features is here. Oh, is this one is a disappear already here a little bit? Okay. The the particular case here, look at this one. It's actually we have we have done this. We have done this first. Okay, here. This okay. is fx. Okay. Now I wanted to perform y. I want to differentiate based on the y, not x, huh? Okay, if I wanted to perform differentiation based on the y, it's automatically this one is constant. All the yes. x become yes. constant and z become yes. constant. Yes. Ah, uh, that constant. Okay, if I okay. differentiate the constant, I get zero. Okay. Okay. And this one is constant. Don't don't change anything. You just follow. What about two y? Two y become two no. y. That's it. Two y become. You see, when I differentiate this, only this, what I'll get? Two y, right? Oh. That's it. Okay. 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 Thank you, Ada. Okay. Bye. Uh, excuse me, doctor. Uh, yes. Uh, doctor, I just want to clarify a thing. Uh, so, can we just simplify today's learning uh, that I can say a total differentiation means a changes inside a change. Is it is it correct? Mm, yeah, can. Uh, but changes, of course, we are monitoring the changes, but we are looking at the subtle way. It's a multi-dimensional perspective. You already started, we, we are combining multi-dimension. Can you see that? You see two I here, I put here. Multi-way yeah. to see the things. Of course, we are looking at the changes, but within the changes, we are looking at the different perspective. That's more important. We are, we are trying to visualize it in a different perspective. And we are combining that visual into single perspective. Okay, that means I go go to this, uh, you know, these things. Can I combine the two way to see this? There is a progress here, and there is a progress here also uh, at the bit, and there is a length. Then I'm monitoring the both combination. Can I monitor both combination? Yes, it's possible through this. Okay, through this kind of combination. Total differentiation actually is a three way. Three way. You're looking at the three way or the multi, uh, 2D also, it can be 2D. Is if I use only X and Y, it's become 2D. If I use X, Y, Z, it become 3D. Okay? So can I just yes. tell X and D is actually same, but uh, we, are do, uh, we are using different symbols just because uh, we are dealing with more than one variable? Uh, same means what? What do you mean by same? First, first, I I wanted to clarify that first. I mean, like, uh, we all know that uh, d means a uh, very small changes in the gradient of the graph. Yes, uh, according yes, to yes. The definition. Where right. I can take the exact same definition for del also, right? Uh, like, uh, I yes, yes, yes. Yeah, yeah. The fundamental differentiation, as you say, is I agree with that. D x is a small changes that you are monitoring dy small change but the cartesian coordinate in cartesian coordinate and direction is different because this is a x direction this is a y direction that's it but rest all performance are same but different that's why i say dimension of seeing is different all right, okay all right dimension all right. of seeing is different the, like 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 this see dimension of seeing is different yeah, okay, doctor. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Thank you, thank you. Hello, doctor. Hi, hi. Hi, Esther. I want to ask the attendance is recorded from WebEx or the QR code outside. Uh, QR code, please put it there also. La. Of course, I will, when the recorder, uh, the, the attendance will be taken in the uh, these things also, but put in the QR code also. Okay. Uh, just now I scan a QR code, it shows that I was left. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Uh, you are you are attended. No worry. No worries. No worries. Okay. okay? Thank you. Late is not a matter, of course. 
suppose I need to put until five o'clock, uh, you know, evening, but it does not make sense. Lah. It doesn't matter. If, if it should show late, don't, don't worry about that. Okay. okay. Next time onwards, I'll try to correct it. Lah. Okay. Thank you. Uh, uh, doctor. Uh, doctor. Yeah. Yeah. I'd like to ask about uh, just now that DF1. There's a part you say that uh, uh, um, that you gave, you gave asking about the volume of the box, right? Hmm. Yeah. Mm. If we if we do want to give a uh, change with five value, can we uh, integrate the whole thing? Integrate? Yeah. No, no. Integration. It, it, in this case, we never integrate anything. We just uh, because the purpose here is that uh, we wanted to see the difference of the volumes. Okay, you can see the difference of the volume here. Okay, uh, yeah. we wanted to see the volume, or you are saying integrate the whole thing like this D. Okay, we just to see the V. Are you are you saying that uh, in order to get the whole V, uh, the whole thing range to that, right? Uh, that's that's what you are trying to claim, right? Uh, v V. I want to get yeah. only V, then I I can just bring it that yeah. But the the logics that I uh, we are we are interested in because later later in the uh, in your almost all your experiments they wanted to know the changes not the whole thing they are not interested in the whole they wanted to see the changes only this is very significant later you will know why why we are emphasizing up to here this formula okay but anyway your questions yeah you are correct okay we can um, we we can uh, solve the problem we you will learn in the second sem, next semester only, uh, how to integrate the dx, dy, this, uh, the, the, the process of these two. And uh, of course, you will learn in your first order linear later uh, in a week after week seven. Okay, this idea, okay, how to, how to go about uh, to handle the dx and dy in a different scenario. Okay, so, definitely you cannot straight away, cannot, you cannot, by now, with your knowledge, with your knowledge, current knowledge, without ODE, um, we call it that as a ODE, that means it's a differential equation, you know, uh, you won't be able to solve this. You, you, you cannot like simply integrate and you cannot solve it like that. Cannot. Okay? It's, it's, it's not like a straight away, you cannot solve it like a integrate like that. Because integration is, for this integration is very complex. When I now, if I integrate, if I start doing this, huh, if I put this integration, it looks simple, right? No, actually, it's very complex. Okay, you cannot directly, you cannot directly, you cannot directly solve this. Okay, uh, uh, that's why so, that's why you, you need to have a skills. There is a lot of skills to solve this part. You will learn later. Don't worry. You will learn later. So. Okay. Think that we need to integrate this thing and we get a uh, get a meaningful. Ah, yeah, yeah. Your 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 question. Your your question. Yes. Yeah, yeah. You're correct. You're correct. You're correct. But uh, we uh, can we, solve this del v. Every more precise result, right? Ah, yeah. Precise results. Of course, you use this. You will get precise results del v the changes of dv okay we get a dv uh, dv changes of course very precise okay very precise and uh, when you want to get the whole whole the new changes of the whole okay you need to use this method of course okay we need to use because you need to give a y and x for example in this case for example uh, four three uh, if I use, uh, oh, okay, because you need to add address, oh, it's already double integral already. Okay, it's a double integral because it's a dx and dy is involved here. That means we need to go for double integral. That's why um, we we never make uh, the, the problem more complex. Lah. Okay, therefore later I will teach you, I will teach you uh, double integral, then, then I don't know whether you all going to enjoy that or not. Okay. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. Uh, doctor. Yes. Good morning, doctor. Uh, Good morning. Tutorial. As we are, we, I am from mechanical engineering, and uh. I think I'm not under Dr. Siva, but if I enroll under Dr. Siva, do I need to um, attend all the lectures? and? No need, no need, no need, no need. You can choose your time and you can go in, no problem. No issue. Oh, okay. You no need to follow me, not at all. Don't worry about that. But you can, your wish, your wish. If you prefer to come in, then you can come and uh, you can look at uh, my notes or you can download or you can make use my notes, whatever. Lah. Or you oh, later you, you want to ask anything related also, no problem. Okay. okay. Thank you very much, Doctor. Okay, thank you. Ah. Hello, Doctor. Hi, hi. Hi, uh, my name is Mahesh. I'm hi, from Mahesh. Mechanic. Uh, I'm from Mechanical Engineering. Uh, okay, good to talk because, to you. Yes. Uh, is there an enrollment key to enter for your... Yeah, yeah, I already given. I already given. You can look at the, the, the main website. Huh? Uh, yeah, it's there. It's already given. Oh, okay. Thank you, Doctor. Uh, please look at that on the top. I already given. Uh, it's all there in uh, EUM and uh, these things. You just look through. Okay, you can get it. Uh, I don't know okay. whether am I engage at this moment. Okay, let me see whether. Wait, huh? it's oh there. yeah, yeah, there is. Thank you, doctor. Ah uh, yeah, yeah. Hello. Okay, let me stop. Oh. Am I 